Today we are going to tour this brand new construction California mansion with a 130 foot long curved infinity edge pool, a 120 foot large steel cantilever in the center of the home, several more details and finishes that you guys are not going to want to miss. So let's go check this one out. Starting our tour here in the front of the property on this massive driveway. We arrive to this home through a motor gate in front of me and you pass a lot of the vineyards here in your front yard. So this house is on 10 acres with incredible views that you guys will see when we head out to the backyard. But this is your circular driveway surrounding this porta cache. You see the stonework in the middle with two water features flowing to each side of it and a 120 foot long cantilever completely made of steel up above that covers the front entrance here. But follow me to this side because this driveway to my right is how you'll enter into the guest house where you will see two bedrooms in there. We'll show you that towards the end of the video. Lots of beautiful landscaping throughout in this contemporary home. And they did try to keep some of that Tuscan Mediterranean style with the red tiled roofs as you will be seen throughout the home in a lot of these drone shots as well as well as some of the stucco exterior mixed in with that stonework. There was also over $2 million spent on the glass alone throughout this house. So just keep that in mind when we're giving you this tour. So here we are in the center, right underneath this large steel cantilever above me. The design of this home is impeccable. You really don't see anything like this in this area or really anywhere, honestly, guys. But let's walk right through the front door and start our tour inside this one. As we arrive inside this home through this large glass pivot front door, we look up to that cantilever that extends throughout the interior of the home as well. And you see the 21 foot high ceilings with the wood paneling up there. But I'm going to keep walking straight because this is your view as you arrive into the home. We've entered into the backyard where you're going to see a 130 foot long curved swimming pool, zero edge infinity swimming pool with these views of Rancho Santa Fe. And it also drops down to a flat grassy part that we will show you later on. I just wanted to get you a brief look at what the views look like as you enter into the property. But there are two separate wings to the house, one of them that features most of the guest bedrooms and the primary suite. But the one that we're gonna start with is the west wing over on this side. So this first space we are checking out in this home is your formal dining area. And maybe my favorite part about this dining room is the large drop down ceiling from up above. And there is about maybe two, three feet separating that drop down ceiling from those 21 foot high wood paneled ceilings above, which is pretty rare to see. You've got a large modern chandelier dropping down from the center, a couple of built in speakers and some sliding glass doors leading directly out to that backyard. On the opposite side of your formal dining area, we see a dual sided wine wall and this little lounge space. It's a separate hangout area that is opened up and you can still see through into the backyard. You can see that infinity edge pool through the glass of your wine cellar here in the center. I like that there aren't any doors to enter into this space as well. And you can see clearly into the front yard, but let's head into this wine room real quick just to show you what it looks like through this narrow glass door. Check it out. To both sides of me, we have this abstract design in the steel holding up all of your wine bottles. So this is pretty sturdy, definitely not gonna fall. And we have the LED lights surrounding the ceiling up above us. Let's head out of here and keep on moving. Show you the rest of this home. I mean, just check out the scale of these hallways. This is insane. I'm sure you're gonna like the other side as well where we have all of the bedrooms. So to my right, we see more of that stonework and this floor to ceiling narrow glass window looking out to some of your landscaping. And this is how you enter into the powder room of the home. You're gonna see more of that stonework here throughout this powder room as well with several more of those narrow windows, travertine countertops, freestanding sink bowl. And we've got these Chinook wood beams above the travertine going up to the ceiling on the right side of this massive mirror above your vanity. 
as well as the same wood down here in the drawer space and the cabinetry below. And then your toilet is over in the back, gives you some privacy here in your powder room. But let's head out of this powder room, keep on moving, take a turn to the right with me. You see more of those drop down ceilings even in this hallway. But now we've entered the main living areas in the home as well as your beautiful kitchen where we see porcelain countertops in your center island, a stainless steel sink here in the center. Same porcelain countertops on the opposite side, up on the backsplash as well. More of that Chinook wood clad onto the hood vent up above. Six burner gas stove, dual Mila oven down beneath. Plenty of storage space throughout on both sides of your ovens as well as down here on your center island. Trash compactor, soft closing drawers, everything that you'd want in your own kitchen. But follow me down this way first. We've got a sliding barn door that closes off or opens up so you can walk into your butler's kitchen. We've got a full butler's kitchen in here with the same finishes that we're seeing in the main parts of the home with beautiful stone countertops, stainless steel fridge and freezer, stainless steel dishwasher down here beneath, and that same wood that we've been seeing in all of the other rooms of the house. Six burner gas stove, another Mila oven down here. This could definitely be a full kitchen in most other homes, but this is just your butler's kitchen, your secondary kitchen here in this beautiful brand new home in Rancho Santa Fe. But outside of that butler's kitchen is where your main fridge and freezer would be stocked with waters already. We're definitely gonna take one of those. Mila once again, right next to that we've got Another large linear stainless steel sink that gives you direct views into your backyard, into that infinity edge pool, and just everything that Rancho Santa Fe has to offer out here. Looking back at that center island, we've got waterfall edge, breakfast bar seating for about six or seven people. To the right, there is an informal dining area, and then more storage space in some of these floating glass cabinets down there. And we see more of these wood beams that you've seen throughout the home. So next to that, we're gonna enter into one of the bedrooms that is actually technically your maid's quarters. This can be a staff room, maybe an in-law suite, currently not staged as most of the guest bedrooms are in this home. Sliding glass doors leading directly out to the front yard and it is fully en suite through yet another sliding barn door, floating vanity in here, full walk-in closet and a full shower with linear dark tile in there going up to the ceiling. But head out of here, we'll show you the room right across the way, which is one of the most unique rooms I've seen in any home that we've toured on this channel. And that would actually be your laundry room. How many laundry rooms have you seen with a center island like this one? This could be one of the larger center islands you'd see in most kitchens in homes. But on the opposite side, more countertop space, plenty of storage throughout, down beneath, and in the floating cabinetry up above. Left side here has one of those smart dryers, one of those dry cleaning systems by LG that we've been seeing in a lot of homes these days. You open it up, you hang up your suits, you let it dry, and you don't have to take it to the dry cleaners. You have one in your own house, which is pretty rare. But they've been implementing a lot of those in homes lately. Next to that is where you see your LG washer and dryer. You've got a dual setup and more storage space to the right side in your laundry room, no shortage of that. And then this door right next to us leads us into one of the garage spaces. This is your two car garage. We're looking out into the driveway area and then down this hallway, this is the mud room space where you can sit down, put your shoes on, take your shoes off when you arrive home from your garage. And I do like this open area where we have two sliding French doors to lead out to the driveway on one side and to the front yard on the other side. So it's definitely a nice greeting as you arrive into the home. When you enter from your four car garage that we're seeing here, brand new epoxy floors and two separate automated garage doors in that space. But I mean, what do you guys think of this laundry room? Honestly, nothing I've ever seen before. So leave a comment, hit the like button and subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, we are posting homes just like this on the channel every single week. Let's keep going past the kitchen space. I really can't get over this main open floor plan of the home because we have these high cathedral ceilings in here with the recessed lighting, as well as the views. You see the pool. I can't wait to show you everything this home has to offer. I don't even know where to go from here. In our living space, we have this large fireplace down beneath to my left side, to my right side. Plenty of open seating areas for an L-shaped couch, contemporary furniture, 
And did I already mention these ceilings? Because I'm just in awe at how immaculate this living area looks flowing right into the kitchen directly in front of me. And then we have these sliding pocket doors completely opened up, giving you that Southern California indoor outdoor flow. And there is over 1500 square feet of covered patio space out here. So if added on to the 12,800 square feet of interior space, this would be over 14,000 square feet in total of pretty much living space alone. We're going to show you this patio area after we loop around the guest house so you can follow this walkthrough. Follow me to the right here. This door is just the brains of the home, little storage space, and then this would be your entertainment room. To the left, more of that stonework that we'll see on the interior. You can make this a living area, a man cave, watch some sporting events, or you can make this more of an entertainment room add a pool table, add some ping pong, whatever suits you the best. Dining area as well. And then we have a door that leads to the outside and directly into the guest house, which we will show you here in just a second. Powder room attached to this entertainment area, floating vanity, modern light fixtures to both sides, pretty high ceilings for a powder room as well. And toilet is tucked back on the right side. I don't think I mentioned also that there are porcelain tiles throughout the entirety of this main floor. It actually transitions from the white oak on the east wing to these porcelain tiles here on this opposite wing. There's also a little bar area in your entertainment room with a flat screen TV for the bartender or anyone sitting at your bar. You can fit maybe four or five people conveniently right next to your backyard here. I love that we have the sliders completely open. It is a beautiful day today. I'm looking directly at the pool and I can see the covered patio space from my view as a bartender. Maybe we can throw a party here and you guys will be invited. We'll serve whatever you guys want and then we'll hop in the pool directly after. Who knows? Hit the like button. That might happen in the future. Dark integrated sink by Blanco and French windows looking out to the guest home and more of the views of your backyard. But speaking of the guest home, I think it's now time to show you the inside of what that looks like. We finished up this specific wing of the house. Now follow me out here and down a couple steps. And as I said earlier, we are on over 10 acres. So there is a lot of outdoor space to show you. Before we head into the guest house, let me just give you a brief look at this driveway because I mentioned it a few times, but we didn't actually show you it. As I wrap around this curved driveway, there is the four car garage and then the two car garage directly next to it. And this is on the right wing of the home as you drive up through the automated gates in the front. Love the landscaping, love the cacti out here. And I do love the exterior of this house in general. Amazing curb appeal directly driving up. One of my favorite features in any home, honestly, is having a curved driveway around a water feature as this one has that you guys saw. But follow me in here. This is the two bedroom guest house as well as a car showroom. We have a McLaren staged in here, which looks absolutely phenomenal. I think any sports car will add to the staging of any home, definitely. And then we have accordion sliding stack doors leading out to more of that backyard. We have a lot of furniture in here and you can see the large dark tile definitely transitioned from the light gray porcelain we saw on the interior. There's a little living space with a flat screen TV next to your full kitchen, large center island in here, breakfast bar seating, six burner stove, Mila oven down beneath, really just everything that you'd need in a full kitchen, stainless steel Mila appliances in your fridge and freezer. Breakfast nook right next to these oversized windows, looking out to more of that backyard, real grass and cacti, the landscaping, the views. What more can I say? I feel like I've been repeating myself with the views, the landscaping, but this home is truly one of a kind and I don't want you guys to miss anything. Let's keep on moving through here. There is a full bathroom, of course, in your guest house. We've got a full glass enclosed shower, floating vanity, and it connects to this first bedroom. And now we're seeing the porcelain tile here in this bedroom, outdoor access through here, currently not staged, so we're not gonna talk too much about it. But follow me through into the second bedroom of the house. This one is of similar size, a little bit of a different design. As you can see, you could possibly fit a desk over in this corner, sliding glass doors leading directly out to the driveway. So if you're living in this guest house, maybe the staff would live here, you park in the driveway and have easy access into your bedroom, into the kitchen, and anything that you need to survive living in the guest house here. Ensuite bathroom, full shower, large vanity, good sized bathroom for the random guest bedroom here in your guest house, but let's keep on moving. That was everything 
for this guest house from the kitchen, the living area, the McLaren, the views. And now it's time to show you guys that 130 foot infinity edge pool and this backyard. Follow me down the pathway in your backyard. As you can see, it has a curved design right up along the real grassy space to my right. A couple of day beds for staging. And we're gonna walk up these steps that lead us to an outdoor fire pit, hangout area, little lounge space. I do like how the stone, the concrete below us, narrows out as you walk toward that covered patio section heading inside. But we're gonna show you more of this covered patio section as I promised you earlier on in the video. And so we said we had an indoor fireplace right next to the living area. We also have an outdoor fireplace just steps away from the indoor fireplace. You can see this large floating ledge down beneath, flash screen TV up above on that exterior stonework, heat lamps up above on the ceilings of this covered patio space. And it honestly just feels like we are inside even though we aren't. We can close off the sliders and this would be fully outside. On cold windy nights, you turn the heat lamps on, you feel at ease, you feel at peace, and you don't get too cold out here. More outdoor furniture. We've got cameras throughout as well. Security system is top notch here. Outdoor dining space. And then this leads us all the way to your outdoor kitchen and bar. We've got another bar here in the home. You can see three, four people here. Alfresco barbecue grill on the opposite side of your center island. Built in Zephyr mini fridge down here. Stocked once again, of course. Lots of storage space in the drawers, soft closing. And as you look at this infinity edge pool, I love the wavy curved shape. It really fits the, the vibe and the energy that we're feeling out here in Rancho Santa Fe. We're not in Los Angeles anymore, guys. And I do like how we have the rock design intermixed with the concrete slabs down beneath us. But follow me back to the opposite side of the pool, honestly, because I have to show you this jacuzzi. This is one of the largest zero edge jacuzzis that you'll see. And I like that it's in an abstract design too. It's not your just typical square cube jacuzzi. It narrows out here and we've got the curved sides as well. And what beats views from a hot tub? Just imagine sipping a cocktail, looking over all the other homes in Rancho Santa Fe, truly just feeling like you're living the dream that you made it out here. As we just cut through that grassy space, we are now standing on what is travertine stone on the floors. There's a lot of travertine throughout the home in different tones. Up above us is once again that steel cantilever rock details to both sides of me. And now we've entered through these sliders. Once again, here's that large pivot door that you saw upon entrance. But now follow me to the east wing of the home. So here on the left side, this is our formal office space with another pivot glass door, large French windows looking out to the front yard, circular driveway, 21 foot high ceilings in here with that hemlock wood up above, recessed lighting, a very open office space in general with glass to both sides of me. Remember I mentioned $2 million worth of glass. You're seeing a lot of that in this office here in the large windows to both sides of us. And there's enough space to have a sofa in here. So while you're doing work, you can have someone relax or wait for you during a meeting. On the opposite side, there's an informal office space that doesn't close off, gallery wall to the right. This can also potentially be a library with all of the floating wood shelves and the wood storage space down beneath us. There are sliders that lead directly to the backyard as most of the rooms have that we've been seeing, but let's keep on moving. Now you're gonna see how these porcelain tile floors transition directly into the white oak wood. Right side here, storage space. And then on the left side, we have more of those floor to ceiling and narrow windows to bring in some natural sunlight to this large hallway. Now, this is a site that you guys don't see too often. I mean, look at the view I'm looking at right now. You've got a picture window directly in front of me looking at some landscaping and up above a drop down ceiling throughout the entire walkway. The scale of this hallway is insane. I'm about six feet tall, but I feel tiny compared to what this hallway actually is, guys. More of those large floor to ceiling, glass windows to one side. And now this is the room that you guys have been waiting for. Trust me, this is the primary suite. As we walk into the primary suite through this large wood pivot door, you turn right and this is it. You are struck by views. I like how it is laid out. So as you enter into the room, you see the views immediately. You see all of your grassy space in the backyard. The drop down grass area in the backyard is one of my favorite parts of this home. We will show you that at the very end of this video. 
but on the left side of this room, large king size bed here with plenty of space to both sides, enough room to have a desk as you'll see on the opposite end of me. Living space in your bedroom as well. I mean, cause why wouldn't you have a living room in your bedroom? Fire pit with one of those ledges that we saw in the fire pit next to the living room. Large flash screen TV up above on more of that stonework that we've been seeing throughout the home. These wood floors do extend into the primary bathroom and then you'll see the transition into this textured travertine tile down beneath us with all of these large floor to ceiling windows. Once again, giving you immaculate views, freestanding bathtub right next to these cornered windows. And on the opposite side, more travertine throughout, more of that Chinook wood in your drawer space and in the cabinetry, as well as the Chinook wood in these wood beams to both sides of the sinks. Large mirrors just planted up against that wall, covering both sink areas. And then let's walk into your shower. There is no door to enter into this shower. I honestly was thinking about pulling open a door to walk into here, but not gonna have to do that. And what's unique about the shower is that the knobs are right next to the entryway. So when you turn on the shower, you won't have to get wet when you're walking underneath the rain head on the opposite end, which is pretty unique. It's also a handheld shower head over here in the back, travertine stonework throughout, floating travertine shower bench. And you do have one LED light strip on the back side up there on your ceiling. Another rain shower head up against that travertine. On the opposite side, we've got two little shower niches and that textured travertine tile does extend into your shower as well, which is pretty cool. I'm a big fan. I wonder how that texture feels on the toes. I might have to try that out a little bit later and uh, take a shower in there, but we'll see. Take a turn to the right next to the floating vanities. This is a little makeup station, two light fixtures at both sides of that mirror. Left side, we have one of the water closets and that leads us into your walk-in closet. It's kind of surprising when you walk into this closet because we are struck by darker wood finishes than we've seen throughout the home. We've been used to the light Chinook wood that we've been seeing in the kitchen areas, but you do have this massive center island with the porcelain countertops and a skylight directly above the island. Just look at how the shadow of this plant is being displayed from that skylight, which is pretty cool, pretty unique look. Plenty of storage space in all of these drawers to my left side. Keep on following me back here. LED lights up above on that wood. And on the opposite side of your island, we have full-size body mirrors that are also used as closet doors. So you can hide all of your uh, secret items back behind those doors. But that was everything for this large closet. Definitely enough space in here to have anyone's entire clothing collection. Definitely mine. Let's keep on moving out of here. To the left side, there's where your second water closet is, more storage space to the left as well. And that was everything for this primary bathroom. I mean, just look at how the sunlight is hitting this tub directly. Unbelievable. Like I said, I might have to test out that shower later to see how that texture feels on the toes. We'll see, we'll see. But that was everything for this primary suite. Let's show you the rest of the guest bedrooms on this wing of the home. And we are back down the hallway, right outside of the primary suite where we see storage space to the left. Like I said, the scale of this hallway is immense and we look directly at a picture window at the very end of the hall. There are a few guest bedrooms on this wing. None of them are currently staged, so we're gonna just briefly show you them. They are pretty large in size and this one does have a French window looking out to that circular driveway, which I cannot get over. En suite, bedroom, water closet, floating vanity, glass enclosed shower, porcelain tiles, and a walk-in closet is inside this bathroom. But follow me out of this one and just let me know which guest bedroom you like the best just by looking at it without it being staged in general. There is a little common space that is right between all three of these guest bedrooms. Maybe put a flat screen TV up on the wall, maybe make this just a hangout section, a lounge that is very separate and way more private than any of the other living areas. But here's one of the other guest bedrooms. Like I said, large rooms in size Sliding doors once again leading out to a backyard space. I do like that dirt path that wraps around the entirety, the entire perimeter of the property that you can kind of see from here. Ensuite bathroom once again, floating vanity, porcelain tiles. This time we're seeing a built in bathtub into your shower. Texture tile above the bathtub as well, porcelain tile on the opposite side. And then another walk in closet is in this bathroom directly in front of me. 
for follow me out of this one. This might be my favorite guest room so far just because of the views that it has and the outdoor space through the sliders. Follow me out of here. One more guest bedroom to show you guys and then I want to show you what the view looks like from that drop down outdoor grassy patch in the backyard a little bit later on. Here are those windows that I keep mentioning and then this is the larger of the three bedrooms but unfortunately there are no sliders leading out to private outdoor space. You're going to have to go through the living room to experience that. Ensuite bathroom once again floating vanity no built-in bathtub but there is a glass enclosed shower full walk-in closet, very similar to what we've been seeing in the other guest bedrooms. But outside of here, back into the hallway, check out the scale once again. But that was everything for this main floor of the home. I mean, there is only one floor. This is a single story house. You saw the kitchen, the living area, the backyard, the guest house. But I wanna show you the view from the backyard one last time. Thank you guys so much for watching till the very end of the video. If you made it this far and haven't hit the like button already, please do so kindly right now. Also hit the subscribe button as we're posting home tours just like this every single week on the channel. Here is that drop down grassy space in your backyard that I was talking about earlier. I would love to just throw around the ball with my dog. I could see him running around out here right now, honestly, but that was everything. Thank you so much to the Jam Zayer group for letting us tour their incredible listing. Appreciate every single one of you for watching. Check out the view of this curved pool. Doesn't get much better than this out here, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.